Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a pretty cool looking puzzle here. Actually, we've got tons of Kropke dots to look at. Um, I always do enjoy Kropke dot puzzles, uh, particularly when there's a lot of them. I don't know why, just something about them. They, they look uh, look fun to solve. I guess that's maybe just me, but um, this one is called 12 or 124812. 12. I'm not sure what that reference is for, but um, might have to do with uh, the 12s. Who knows? Uh, but it's it's by uh, Red Barchetta. I'm not sure I've done a, a puzzle by this uh, creator before, so this will be good. Um, let's just jump into our rules and see what we can figure out here. So we've got uh, normal Sudoku and normal variant rules apply. So normal Sudoku rules are every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box contains the digits 1 through 9 once each. Now our variants, <clears throat> excuse me, our variants are going to be what's below here. Um, uh, black dots, so these are crop key dots. Uh, digits are a one to two ratio so these two digits whatever they are if this is x this is either 2x or x over 2 or if whatever this digit is this is double or half of it uh, white dots are consecutive that's the second part of uh, crop key dots so these two digits are just consecutive digits one two three four seven eight whatever positive diagonal which is this guy right here put those all together uh, digit can't repeat on that blue diagonal line just means you have a one here, you can't put a one anywhere else on this line, whether Sudoku would allow it or not. And then we also have killer cages. So digits cannot repeat and sum to the clue in the top left cell of the cage. So as we had pointed out previously, we have multiple 12 killer cages. So these two digits when added together just equal 12. And that's it on our rule set. So without uh, much further ado, let's, uh, let's get started on this thing. See what we can figure out now. The good thing about black crappy dots, and it's going to be the most obvious thing here, uh, the white dots will, I'm sure they'll come into their own in a minute, but they're not quite as powerful, but we have very many black dots that are all staring at each other. So that is definitely going to limit what can go in them. Now, in terms of black dots, clearly, um, well, not clearly, but we can never put five, seven, or nine because you can never d divide those by two or double them and have a valid Sudoku digit. So we know we're looking at 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, and 4, 8 as our combinations of digits that have to be on here. Now we clearly can't use the 3, 6 variety because we put a 3 here, this would be a 6. We'd have to go back to a 3, then back to a 6, and we're breaking this puzzle in multiple ways. So what we're looking at for both of these collections of black crop keys is going to be from 1, 2, 4, and 8. Now, we can remove 1 and 8 from our middle uh, portions, because if I put a 1 anywhere in these two digits, we'd, we're going to have two 2s sitting next to it, uh, breaking the puzzle. The same goes for the 8. If we have an 8 in either one of these, we're going to have a couple 4s looking at each other, and that can't happen. So we know these are the extreme digits on the end here, and then our middle digits on it. We don't know which pattern these goes in, this goes in. Uh, so this could go you know, one, two, four, eight, and then come back four, two, one, or it could be eight, four, two, one, and then go back up two, four, eight. We don't know that. But the same is going to be true for these guys. So we can just put in our digits because it's the exact same concept here. So we don't really need to go back and, and reprove it all because we've already done so. And what we're going to end up getting is a lot of digits that we, uh, we now know are in our these couple of rows and columns. Now, the question is going to be: Do we want to jump into our white crocky dots at this point, or do we want to look elsewhere? And the reason I say that is because we can make determinations about what these digits can be. Um, it's going to take a little bit more. Um, deduction and you know, picking apart what specifically can go in them, but we can certainly do it. Yeah, I guess we're gonna we're gonna need to because we don't we can't do anything with this diagonal line yet. This guy is gonna be the same concept as this, although it might be a little bit more. Yeah, it might be better to start up here, and we because we have a you can we can reduce the black crop key dot more than a than a white crop key dot. So let's start there. We know this can't be a one or an eight. So it must either be 
two, four, three, or six. Now, if this is a two, it forces this to be a four because we cannot go two, one, and then come back up to two. So this can't be a two because if it's two, four, we then break this. We can get rid of the two. If this is a four, we can't go down to the two, obviously, but this could go up to an eight and then come back down seven, six, and five. Now, does it break anything down here? It doesn't seem to. Now, the other options are the three sixes. If these are three sixes, it has to be a three six pair. There's nothing else you can do about it. And this either becomes a three or a six. Now, if this is a three, we have to go in the upward direction because we can't do two, one, zero. So we'd have to put a four, five, six, and that does still work that way. If this is a six, we can go upwards. Well, we can't go upwards, actually, because if this is a six and we go up from our that, that, that value, we're going to seven, eight, nine, but we have an eight staring up in here. <clears throat> now, if this is a six and we go downwards, we end up having a five, four, three, and we can't do that either because we have the four looking up in here. So this can't be a four. So these are all of our options, which is quite interesting, actually, because it gives us a five, six pair here. So now we have a one, eight pair, a two, four pair, and a five, six pair. So these digits in between are going to have to be from three, seven, and nine. Now that doesn't quite do much for us, does it? <clears throat> See if there's anything else along this line that we could have reduced our options for. And I don't think we can at the moment there. So we might have to just move on <clears throat> to here for a second and see if we can find more. There might be more we can do up here, but I don't, I don't think so at the moment. So let's let's try something else. So what can this digit be? Well, it can't be one, two, four, or eight. So let's kind of start looking at what our possibilities are, I guess. So we can get three, five, six, seven, and nine. Now it can't be nine because then we'd have to put an eight here and we break this. So let's get rid of our nine. Our seven, on the other hand, again, we'd have to go in the downward position. So it would go six, five, four, three, which does work. Let's put those in. Uh, the six, again, would have to go down. So it'd have to be five, four, well, let's just not even do that because I can see right now that doesn't work. Because if this is a six, we can't go seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'd go five, four, three, two. We'd have four and a two in these positions, and we'd break this. So this can't be six. So it does look like we can we can kind of pare this down quite a bit. Let's see how far we can go. <clears throat> now, if this is a five, we can't go downward because we go five, four. We have the four looking, so we go up five, six, seven, eight and nine, which does work. Let's see, there's nothing else right now looking at this one, so I think that still works. And if we have our three, we clearly can't go down, so it's three, it would have to be up, so it's three, four, which doesn't work, so this can't be three. So we end up with this actually having to be a six by what we've determined here. Let's just take one last crack at that just to make sure that's accurate. So we're down to the possibilities of fives and sevens. So if it's five, again, it has to go upwards. So six, seven, eight, nine. If it's seven, it has to go downwards. So it has to go to six. So this is a six, which means up here, because we're on our blue line now, this has to be a five, which means this has to be a six. This has to go down to four and three and six. And now that four is going to break this open. So we get our two four. This has to be one. This has to be eight. Four, two, one. This is going to set off a chain going down the, the entire thing here. Four, two, one, two, four, and eight. Now that four here is going to break this one. So we get the eight. This has to be nine and seven. And this has to go down to five. And we've got a, quite a bit of information now that we've just determined by going through these uh, crop keys. Now... Yeah, and let's look at these guys. It's, it's the same thing as over here. So three, seven, and nine are the possibilities. We can't rule out any of those from this region at the moment, which is interesting. 
I would think that the next step is going to be um, possibly what these 12 cages would have. But you can always put a 9 here because you can put a 1 and a 2 in here. And there's nothing looking at it just yet. So let's either let's look at this um, blue line or we're going to look at some basic Sudoku. <clears throat> Well, let's look at Sudoku for a second, because the ones are actually somewhat interesting, because none of these can be ones. So there must be a one somewhere in this killer cage. Now, if there is a one, this can no longer be a three, so we'd have to have an eight to go with it to make 12, because three, one, eight is 12, so we'd get rid of the three here. Now, what if it's a seven? If it's a 7, the same, it's going to have the same problem, so we will be able to figure this one out. So if this is a 7 plus the 1, we're at 8 now, so we have to have a 4 to finish the 12. we got a 4 here, so this is just 9, and therefore this is a 1-2 pair to go with our 9. That 9 will get rid of these 9s and this 9. Okay, so that was actually quite useful. Now, we can probably do a little, we might be able to do a little bit I'm not quite sure, because just looking at it, you know, first blush here, we know none of these can be 9s in this box. We're forced to put a 9 on our line, which means that we cannot ever have a 9 anywhere else. Now the question is going to be, is that going to rule out enough options at this point, or do we have to get a little bit more information before we uh, proceed with the 9s? Because I can't rule out a 9 here, because this would then be a 3. We have nothing saying that this one can't be a 3. We can't rule out a 9 here either. So I don't know that that's going to give us what we need. Although we can look back at the 5s and 6s, though, and go back into the main box and say these two have to be from 5 and 6. Now, we're getting quite a few digits along this one, so let's take a look at it first before maybe we come back to the uh, line here. So we know we have to put a 3 in, which can go any of the open spaces. The 4 cannot go in any of these, and it can't go here or here, so this has to be a 4. There we go. Now we're going to start getting some information about this 12, but I'm going to continue on this first to see if there's anything further we can do. Uh, we know the 5 and the 6. The 7, we can't say much about. And then the 8 is the last digit. Well, there we go. We get the 8, because the 8 can't go in any of these locations, so therefore it must go here. And we end up with the 3-7 pair to finish off our pairs in this row. Now, let's look back at this 12k to see if we can figure anything out with it. Because we know we've already got a 4 in here, so we have 8 left with 2 digits. There's only a few ways to make 8 with 2 digits. It's 7, 1, 6, 2, and 5, 3. We can't do 7, 1. Or six two, so this must be a five three pair. Therefore, this is seven. This is nine. This is three. That nine is going to fill this nine up. It's going to give us our three here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, this is a given digit of seven now as well. Uh, this is a given digit of six, and this has to be either a three or a five. And what can we now do? We still can't quite use this guy here. And I'm not sure there's much more on the nines at the moment that we can work with. So let's maybe look back at our diagonal and see if there's anything uh, preventing certain digits from going any in a specific place. So on this diagonal, we still need to have a 1, 2, 4, and 8. Two can't go in either of these positions, but it could still go out here. The one looks like it can go anywhere. The four can't go up here. It can't go here, so it must go here. So this is a four, which then gives us our two location, because we said the two can't go here or here, so this has to be two. And then we have, what, one and eight left over, right? And we've got an eight here, so we do get our one and our eight to finish off our line. That worked out quite well, actually. Okay, so we are moving along quite swiftly, which is good to see. Now, 
I think we're pretty much down to Sudoku. I'm going to take a quick scan here to see if there's anything else that looks like it might be useful before doing that. And I don't quite see anything, so let's take a look at just basic Sudoku. Yeah, we got a one here. Uh, mm, don't quite have good info here. One of these two has to be a one, because I can't put a one in a 12 gauge, but that doesn't do too much. Okay, so the ones, we got that one, the one one, but that's about all we got on it. The twos. Well, we have the same thing that we had with the ones in this region. This can't be one or two. This can't be one or two. This, 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 and this can't be one or two. So these are a one, two pair, which forces this to be the nine, which means this is the three, five, seven, three, and this ends up being a six. That three here finishes our fives and our threes. Good. Now, now we are definitely in Sudoku land, or basic Sudoku land. So let's see how we can finish this guy off. Let's just keep going through our numbers and see uh, what sticks. And, okay, we can get a three up here. We can get a three down here, and we're going to get a three here to finish the threes off. Our fours, can we do something similar? Not quite. We get an X-wing of fours left here. So I'll have to come back to those. Fives, this is a five. And this is a five, which gives us our six and our five, which is good. And we get a five down here. I think we're going to be done with our fives now. Yeah, so... No fives in any of these. This has to be five, which gives us a four and our four. And we're moving along quite well. Fours are done. Fives are done. Let's just hop on the next uh, bus here and continue. I think we're going to be able to finish off the rest of this puzzle fairly quickly. I think that should be it for sixes. Yeah, let's look at our sevens. Again, we've got plenty doing that's going to give us what we need and we have all of those now okay let's uh let's start finishing this let's look at this guy here um instead of clicking three two and let's look at a little bit more um i don't know if it's a logical way of going about it but um, we need a two in this row and it can't go over here obviously so this must be two and one and two and one and then we're going to just get a bunch of columns and rows, etc., that just have one digit left over, and we can just fill those in now. So this has to be a 1. This has to be a 1. This has to be an 8. This has to be a 9. Uh, this now has to be an 8. This guy has to be a 9, which means this is a 9. These two have to be from 2 and 8. So they got an 8 here. We get 2 and 8. This digit is a two, and then for this one has to be our last digit, and it is a nine. And there we go, you solved the puzzle. So that was a nice, really easy one. Um, it was really all about just getting the logic about possibilities of what these could actually be, because these black crop dots are quite uh, constrictive in terms of what they allow. So anyway, I, that was just an excellent puzzle. Um, doesn't need to be super hard to be a lot of fun. That certainly was. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that one. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.